All right. Awesome. So, where where is this going? Uh, just the internet. The internet. Nobody will see it. Oh, actually, no yeah, nobody will <laughs> see it. My name is Jason XL. I work in the biotechnology biotechnology industry. Excuse me, and I am from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Very cool. How long have you been coming to Hack Our Lodge? Was it been eighteen years? Eighteen years, something like that. Wow. Yeah. What brings you back? My grandfather. My grandfather. All the guys in the family come. All the guys in both families come, and uh, we've been doing it for a long time. So tell me the story about your grandfather. My grandfather. There's some stories I can't repeat. <laughs> 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 the story of my grandfather. My grandfather, uh, he is 98 years old. Um, started coming here 30 plus years ago, so he started coming here in his 60s, and he uh, invited uh, after getting remarried late in life, he invited all the boys from both families, and that's how that's how this started. What's your uh, what's your best memory of Hackeye Lodge? My best memories of Hackeye Lodge are being in the boat and uh, steering. <laughs> the eagle is chanting there, uh, and uh, either getting uh, my grandfather a big fish or uh, steering him to a big fish. There's a little competition amongst us to make that happen, right? Um, but there have been uh, some record epic years and uh, Turb, my cousin, <laughs> one of the grandsons, uh, is the uh, publisher of this wonderful book called Hackeye. And uh, it's got all our pictures, it's got uh, the family story in it. Over the last uh, three or four years it's been absolutely fantastic uh, since the new, new crew has taken over. The food's good, um, the boats are ready uh, in the morning whenever you want to go. They really cater to pretty much your every need so you can spend the most of your time fishing. What happens when you get back with your boat? Uh, magically, you uh, <laughs> you get off the boat, you uh, tell them what, uh, what you caught and uh, so that they know what you caught and they put it in the freezer for you. And then, um, you know, you go eat lunch or dinner or you wake up the next morning and magically it's all cleaned up, baited, filled with fuel and ready to go.